Well, every Saturday here on News 6, we team up with the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando to bring you our Ask a Vet Your Well Pet segment. So joining us now, we have two very special guests. Today, we have Nenea Morris. She is the clinical director from the Pet Alliance. And uh, this is also Mr. Cooper here, who we want to remind you is up for adoption if you are interested. So this is National Pet Poison Awareness Month. So first of all, what are some of the common ways that dogs are exposed to po potential poisonings? Uh, unfortunately, the most common exposure to toxins or, or poisons is through carelessness. Mm -hmm. um, chocolate toxicity is a very common one. Human medications, whether it's prescription right. drugs or maybe something over the counter. Mm -hmm. Um, and also pet medications. So a lot of times we leave things out to remind us, hey, I gotta give Cooper his um, pain pill and Cooper knocks it off the counter right. and eats the whole bottle. So full. just like humans, there's a dosage and they need that dosage and nothing more. Correct. One thing I've heard a lot about, I mean, we talk about certain foods sometimes. I've heard avocados, grapes, raisins. What about things like that? Gra grapes and raisins are a big one. A lot of times people think, oh, I eat it, so it should be fine right, for my exactly. dog. And it actually can cause kidney failure, um, kidney disease and it's not necessarily the amount is consistent with the level of um, problem. Mm -hmm. You can have a big dog eats one raisin and goes down fast. Really? You can have a little dog that eats a handful of raisins and you don't see any signs. And what are some signs or some symptoms we might want to be aware of if we haven't maybe seen our animal eat something but we think maybe something might be wrong? Uh, so, so depending on the, the, the poison or the intoxicant, um, you could see anything from a respiratory distress uh, to um, vomiting, diarrhea, um, lethargy, where they're just kind of down and out and mopey, and you're like, what's wrong with my mm -hmm. dog? Or not eating or not drinking. Um, so that's why it's good to, if you have them on a standard routine, you know, they get up, they eat, they poop, they pee. Yeah. And if anything changes in that routine, that kind of alerts you to, yeah. hmm, something's going on. And, and you know, if you see empty wrappers or your pill right, jar true evidence. is gone, yeah, then uh, it's that's a, that would be a good a big tip that okay. something's awry. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we know your pets and you know if there's something wrong with them, if something's not right. Well, Dr. Morris and Cooper, we thank you so much for joining us. And if you want all the information about poison dangers for your dog, we'll connect you to the Pet Alliance of Greater Orlando through our website. It is clickorlando.com, powered by News 6.